So first up we've got Neil who flew the Eclipse earlier. And he's flying the L39 Albatross. which is going to be flown by Tony Hooper. Again, the liaising with the Civil Aviation Authority to get the licenses for aircraft over, as it was then, 20 kilos. Uh, now we the camera. And up to now, I'm going to say touch wood to be a bit dubious about getting all of this back together again after almost two year loss. It's gone very, very well. And I would like to thank you all for your support for the weekend. They don't fly slowly these, but that was one tremendous landing. Stop. Absolutely feather like for training aircraft. So please don't expect to get your hands on a jet. But we would like as many people as we can to go down there and have a go. It's great. We always would like new members. We have the tent here for the Large Model Association. And as you look down the flight line, with one or two exceptions, you would see that our general uh, demographic for age is probably between um, 60 upwards. So what we'd like to encourage is to try and get young people involved. And that's one of the reasons we're having the flying down there that you know, we don't want, want to be five years from now turning up to do a display all carrying Zimmer frames and motor ability scooters. So please, 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 if you are at all interested, come and speak to us, find out what we do, find out what's involved, and we'll go from there. So, coming out now, Tony Hooper, as I say, our chief examiner, Tony, a full size pilot. Was a one down, I believe, instructors on Hawks and also flew and owned a Texan. The aircraft is coming out is one probably of the nicest looking jet aircraft ever built. And this is the Hunter. And what a beautiful, sleek aircraft this is. Turn. Do the circuit, settle himself down. There we go. And it's just so graceful in flight this aeroplane. It hasn't got all of the the new stuff on all the bits and bobs and but you hang on to them. It's built cleanly and to a beautiful design. Tony probably around about half the way. Just playing the aircraft for the full capability of that model. Reversing your circuit now. Back on turn, descending. Yeah. And the transmitter, transmitter, the 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 transmitter
sometimes maybe we should maybe have a fortified little memory. It's between 60 and 70 pounds. So your investment in getting started is going to be around about the 200 pounds. Now, on top of that, you will need your club membership. It, usually, it isn't possible that I know of to go it alone. If you go it alone, you'll probably take off, fly it in a straight line for a few seconds and crash it because once you come to the turn, that's when it gets difficult. Um, if once you get past the turning away from yourself, then you've got to get used to the turning coming towards yourself, which is different again. So the best thing to do is get involved in a club and work with the people. Most club people will work with you to get you into a state where 